So in my quest to keep playing this game that I really love, there's one challenge I still have never taken on yet, which is an alternate controller challenge. So rather than modifying something in the game, I'm instead modifying the controller I'm using, and I'm using this fancy Guitar Hero guitar. Now, an amazing person in my Discord and in this community, his name is Detonation, ended up sending and giving me this PlayStation 3 Guitar Hero guitar that we ended up using for this challenge run. I probably would have taken absolutely forever to purchase one of these things, so I'm extremely thankful to Detonation for getting this to me and allowing this challenge to happen. Now, if you're curious about the rules of this challenge, basically the only rule is that I have to use this guitar. I took off all restrictions when it comes to combat, so if I want to stealth a mission, not get into any fights, just have conversations to resolve things, I'm allowing myself to do all that, and of course, I'll always play on the hardest difficulty. I'm super thankful for everyone who showed up to the streams, hung out with me, and saw this beautiful experience take place. If you want to be a part of those streams in the future, make sure to hit the notification bell to know when I go live and or join the Discord and turn notifications on on our notification tab. Last thing, it's YouTube. If you want to like, subscribe, comment, I would really appreciate it. It really helps to push my channel and let more people see this content. Honestly, I'm thankful enough for you even just watching this, so it's up to you, but I would really appreciate it. Anyways, enough of an intro, let's get into this challenge. To start things off, we're going to be listening to live me explain the controls that I'm using. Now, this thing is very limited because there is only uh, two buttons, the whammy bar, the little switcher piece in the middle, and then the five buttons right here. That's all I have. So this little, the, the flappy thing in the middle, up is walk forward, down is to shoot and or attack, right? Also, the whammy bar, sadly, is the exact same thing as pulling up. Uh, you can't assign that to something different. I was hoping that this could be something different, but it can't. Uh, these buttons, F to interact with things and control the crouch so I can do stealth stuff because I think stealth is going to be my best friend. Uh, and then we have walking or looking around, I should say. So I have left, right and up and down and then uh, jumping with green. <laughs> and that's it. Now, sadly, this thing doesn't have enough buttons or controls for me to do all the menuing I will need to do in the game, but all gameplay will take place on the guitar. And so, starting up a new game, of course, I put it on the hardest difficulty. It only felt right to start as a street kid, and of course, made my character look like he came straight out of Guitar Hero. I then placed my starting attributes into Body, Technical Ability, and Cool. Starting up the Street Kid intro, besides me walking around and looking around really weirdly, this plays out pretty much as normal, so we'll get to where we start the first mission to go save Sandra Dorset with Jackie. Ooh, can I hack? Ah, see, that's an issue, Songbird. I don't have enough buttons to activate hacking. Oh, look at that, it just opened. Can I? There. Okay, okay, first kill. Nice, Jackie. Nice. Drive him. Snap the neck. Dang, Jackie just teleported. Do you guys see that? I didn't know he moved like that. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got him. All right, good luck, Sandra. Yeah, I have no way to reload except for emptying the magazine, by the way. So I, <laughs> it's like really dumb. You missed the SpongeBob voice. I thought about re putting it back on. <laughs> Did I ever delete that? Mod, or is it still here? A few moments later. Where's that the NCPD? Yes. Watson on lockdown. This, this section's gonna suck, because I actually have to probably aim. And or just stay alive. Oh. No. I got three shots. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> No, no, no. No, <laughs> we almost made it through that first part. <laughs> so yeah, I'm in quite a predicament here. Aiming with this guitar is insanely difficult and I need to take out these guys before they kill me and or get an insane amount of luck and just survive long enough until the van drives into the wall. Uh, 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 my brain, my brain. Oh, 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 oh. Got you, asshole. For the driver! <laughs> I didn't do anything. 
We take those wins. <laughs> and I don't know if it was the sweet lord himself, but dang, I got luck this time. With the driving segment finished, we pushed through the rest of the story as normal, eventually making it to Vix, getting my zoomy eyes that I can't zoom because I don't have the controls to. I then go meet up with Dex, talk about the upcoming missions we have before getting released into the open world. Now, before getting into any of these main quests, there's one thing that I really want, which is a smart link. Because if I ever find a smart weapon, I fully believe that will be my savior, allowing me to just put enemies in a box rather than actually having to aim. And so I run around and just run into some NCPD missions, grabbing the loot and running out of there to gain the money from completing them. After getting enough money, I purchase a smart link and then make my way to All Foods to meet up with Jackie. On my way there, I decide to meet up with Meredith, get the credit chip from her, and then wipe the malware off the chip because I want to make friends and make this mission as easy as possible for myself. And so after presenting the chip to Royce, telling him that Militech's onto them, we get a helping hand in this next fight. Let's do it. Hey, we got a kill. <laughs> That's so tough. <laughs> he won't last long. Finish him. Mm. Oh, oh. We gotta go save Royce. Oh no! <laughs> what I found is usually is if you pull the aggro of them, then Royce can go in and actually do stuff. Sometimes. I'm so close to dead. Royce, do you want to finish him off, please? Oh, let's go. I got it. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Bro, you try this, okay? <laughs> oh, no, no. Uh, why did you have to see me? Yeah, let's go. Surprisingly, I make it out of All Foods and decide to head to Lizzie's bar to go talk with Evelyn. Now, there's one issue. I don't have the ability to drive cars in this because I can't steer them. So anytime I need to get anywhere, if I don't have the fast travel point, I just have to walk there. And of course, I don't have enough buttons, so I can't assign a sprint button either. So uh, yeah, this there was a lot of walking that happened in this streams. But after finally making it to Lizzie's bar, we then dive into these brain dances and learn the information on the item we are to steal for this upcoming mission. With that wrapped up, Jackie and I head to the afterlife and start the mission, The Heist. Rolling up to Compeki Plaza, we put all of our guns away and make our way up to our suite, hack a netrunner with the flathead, and then make our way up to Yorinobu's penthouse, making sure to grab probably one of the most busted pistols in the game. With the relic safe within our grasp, we hide in this pillar as Yorinobu decides to have a tickle fight with his dad. It's kind of weird, dude. And now it's time to make it out of Kompeki. Fucking major weeks. Happy now, Jackie? Oh, sticky button. That's not good. <laughs> it's a hamper abroad. They're a little late. <laughs> Are you so before? Strong Trump stealing a secret formula oh, from nice. Arasaka. We're going to go to... Crafting. I'm going to leave that equipped, so hopefully I use it in the driving segment. But then we're going to try and get this ready to go. Has been evacuated from the premises. I repeat, your Nobu Arasaka has been evacuated. 
Oh, I shouldn't have killed him here because there's people about to watch it walk out. <sighs> oh no, it's seeing me. Okay, well. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay. Ooh, thank you, Jackie. Cover me, Good one. Let's go. Oh gosh. I can't back up, which is the worst thing. No shot, right? No shot, right? No shot, right? <laughs> hide, hide. Ooh. Oh. Uh, my brain is is melting. Hold up. I'm like forgetting what buttons do what, and my brain isn't connecting correctly. Which one does what? Ow! We. Oh, I'm dead. We didn't get spotted this time. Ooh. Down here. Good. Okay. We just gotta get that guy to go in the room, and then we might be able to sneak in there and just assassinate him. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go, Jackie. Okay, this room, we just literally have to walk through. Running out of Compeki Plaza and hopping into Delamine, we get into the driving segment I've been fearing the most. Okay. Um. Ah, I get to just give up. <laughs> so hard. My brain. Good. That one blew up. I think there is like a built-in timer though for how long you can do this segment. As I, I've done it before where the pacifist run, I tried not to kill anything, but they, they killed me. Oh, oh, yes. Please, game, don't just kill me. Let me let me fight this out. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. No, the game auto kills you. I, yeah, I have to do it fast enough. <sighs> Having to shoot at things flying in the air with a guitar while you're also in a moving car was probably one of the more difficult things I've ever had to do in this game. I started out by just trying to shoot them directly and then decided to see if the ricochet of Yorinobu's pistol could help in this section and wouldn't you know it, it definitely does. With the knowledge of ricochet, I give this quite a few more times, die a ton and actually start to get weirdly good at this. So there's, there's a good moment there where it's too high to use ricochet, so I do have to just get some shots in. Come on, come on, come on. No! 7%! <gasps> and after enough persistence, I finally got this attempt. Uh, side note, I, we were talking about mods, and someone was asking what I recommend, so that's the conversation. If you just want to explore and check things out, uh, free fly mod, an appearance menu mod is good for just doing things and like spawning in crap. And, 
Of course, Cyber Engine tweaks. Those are the ones that usually just stay installed for me. I'm getting kind of cooked with this thing. Hostile aircraft eliminated. Shield. We did it, Jackie. We fucking made it. Oh my gosh. With all the drones down, we say our last goodbyes to Jackie. Rest in peace, you beautiful man, you. See you in the major weeks, Jack. Yeah. It's good before making my way to meet up with Dex before he kills me, putting me into the Johnny flashback. After spending forever trying to aim this turret to kill everyone on this rooftop, we grab Johnny's solidly overpowered pistol and get to work. Just oh, thank you. Headshot, let's go. This is bad. <laughs> okay. No. Okay, we're good. With the flashback done, we wake up in our own body, say goodbye to Dex, and then get into this driving segment with Takemura. Luckily, this driving segment, you just have to do a little bit of damage to each of these motorcycles, and everything kind of auto plays. So that's all I do. After finishing getting through the rest of the story, I decide to wrap up my stream for the day here and pick it up in the next stream, where I immediately head to Tom's Diner to meet up with Takemura and get the ball rolling. I then make my way to Lizzie's Bar to gather information from Judy, and then decide there's one gun in particular I feel I need to have for this run. New fingerprints detected. Guess I'll go with puppy-loving pacifist. Bum, bum, bidum, bum, bum, bidum, bum. Oh. With Skippy in hand, I car surf my way to the mega building and make my way into clouds. Of course, because I'm unrestricting myself, I decide to take the easiest approach in my opinion, which is grabbing the key off of this guy who's taken a leak, sneak my way through the back rooms, and have a nice chat with Wilson. After getting the information that Evelyn was taken to Fingers, we go meet up with Fingers, punch him because it doesn't matter anymore, and then gather some information on this brain dance. Judy and I then make our way to the Electric Corp power plant, where it's time to get to work. Can lead to cyberware failure. Okay, great. Combat time. Good. I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Oh, they put text on him now? That's amazing. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna snap his neck right here. We can also just make our way down. Find the way down. You see my position? Hmm, that's an issue. I can't really deal with cameras correctly here. I can always just get rid of him my way. Oh, okay. No! That's so tough. 
<laughs> okay, I need to kill the other guy first. You are gonna be dead. Ooh, you are a skull enemy. Okay. Uh, hmm. Snitches get stitches. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Here. Huge. I need to go level up Skippy. Just literally go into some combat situations to try and get him to shoot heads. We'll come back to Skippy. I do want to finish off Skippy, but... Is it you? No, I shouldn't have gone for it. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh. 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 What blew up? Really? No, 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 no. Ah. No cities, one giant rot pile. I had it. I just played it dumb. Oh, oh, please give me the prompt again. There we go. Clean. Super clean. There we go. Okay, yeah, we'll just grab her. Nice. Finally, with everyone cleared out and Evelyn safe, we dive into some brain dances she recorded, gather some information, and then at this point I decide I want to try and get some kills to try and get Skippy to switch from puppy-loving pacifist to stone-cold killer, because obviously that's a big jump in damage if you can get him to lock headshots. But I think I underestimated exactly how difficult it really is to fight with a guitar. I also at this point decide to go to a ripper, sell a bunch of weapons, and get a blood pump and the bio monitor, so that way it'll auto use my healing resources. Because obviously up to this point, I've had no way to use healing resources, so this allows me to just sort of auto use them, giving me a ton more health and resilience, which is very helpful in this run. I continue to try and clean up enemies dying so many times it gets annoying. I get the call from Takemura and then decide I'm done with this and decide to just go meet up with him. While on my way there, chat starts telling me that I should have actually another button I didn't know about, which is how you use star power when you're playing Guitar Hero. It's honestly been so long since I played Guitar Hero that I forgot this was even a thing. <gasps> it's a button. What do we make it? Dash. I actually kind of like Dash. <laughs> oh, wait, we could we could get like the, the super jump. Oh, it can be a light flick. Okay. Oh, let's go. We could get the crazy Dash. <laughs> with my newfound abilities, we make our way down to meet up with Takemura, have the chat with him, Oda, and then eventually Wakako, before finally splitting off and deciding to do more NCPD missions, trying to just make money and get kills for Skippy. And I continued to die a ridiculous amount of times. Finally, after making enough money, I decide to head to the afterlife to go pay Rogue for the information on Anders. I then call up Pan Am and decide to go meet up with her, but on my way there, there's one smart weapon that I think is probably my favorite and is really easy to get, and so I decide to run to the Arasaka Industrial Park and just walk my way through, because apparently there's no one here yet, and go grab my favorite smart weapon iconic. I then continue to make my way to meet up with Pan Am, where we get together and plan a surprise attack against the Raffins. They're rolling in, and my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Hello? I've been made. Ah! Oh. 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 Oh, 
please go through the window. <laughs> no, please, no, please, 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 please. Need to risk it. Pin him, no, help me. Oh no, I shouldn't have grabbed it. I shouldn't have grabbed it. After somehow finally taking everyone out, I then convinced Pan Am that we're not going to go after Nash and get her really pissed at me. And of course, with SpongeBob's voice, basically tell her she's being a child. Not talking to me now. Real mature. <laughs> you pouting like some wounded puppy. Shut up. <laughs> right now we got more pressing things in our list. So get your shit together or tell me you're out. Now. SpongeBob calling her a pouting puppy is the funniest thing. <laughs> with that mission wrapped up, I decided to make my way back to meet up with Takemura and go infiltrate the Arasaka Industrial Park. And trying to find a way to safely get in this building to hack the float proves to be quite difficult. I wonder if I can like be hop past this dude. Nope. <laughs> oh, machine gun guy in here. I'm dead. Yep. Okay. Let's just, let's just give it to this another shot. Dang it. On sight. No, I missed my jump. Okay. Okay. Climb the pipe. About to go in. Okay. I'm in. How's things at your end? Good. I will raise the control. Go, go, go. And make a terrible mess. Very well. I am ready. Oh, when you finish, I make the system. Hey, no. Boy. Ah. Dang it. I'm just gonna try to run in and get that done. If I can stealth in though, that would be the best. Alright, well, let's see if we can. Ooh. I almost got through without him noticing. I wonder if I can get out of combat. Oh, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna drop a quick save. Snap a snack. Excuse me? Okay, well. I'm blowing you to pieces! Oh. Don't weapon glitch, no. Ooh, just in time. Man, you waited the perfect amount of time. Oh, let's go. Absolutely huge. Okay. Floats are to do with as we please. I think I'm gonna take this route, Takemura. Thank you, though. No, 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 no. Don't shoot through the floor. Don't shoot through the floor. Fucking worked. Finally, with this mission wrapped up, I decide to call it for the day, picking things up in the next stream. Starting up this stream, I immediately head to meet up with Pan Am and decide to start the mission going after Anders Helmet. After making our way to this power station and spending forever killing these drones with this guitar, we overload the power station, turning it into an EMP to try and knock down the AV. And because I can't turn very fast, I almost miss watching the AV dance. I then struggle to take down these tiny drones, before making my way to the crash site to try and clean out these robots. Okay, maybe I play as a little more cautious. 
Okay, wow. All right. All right, let's see if we can get out of here. Okay, 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 we're good. <laughs> Get a pen him. Got him, pen him. Oh, shit. We have no way to steer a bike, so we're just gonna drive. Oh, uh oh, that's not good. He knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. Looks like we're walking, boy. <laughs> I wonder, can I call it? Oh, I forgot I have this thing. Will it spawn behind me? Usually, when there's not a road, it'll just spawn directly behind you, in line with you. So I might be able to drive for a little while. It's actually kind of working. <laughs> I'll take it. You fucking gun. Brace yourself. Uh. It cannot be. Nice. Definitely set up shop here. Oh, got it. Let's go. Close one. I'm in. Follow your instinct. Good. Is he gonna look left? He's looking left. You won't get out of this alive, you bastard. Oh, Anders. Don't take this personally. <laughs> personally. With Anders safe, we have a nice chat with him before finally setting off to Pacifica to meet up with Placide. In order to talk with this lady, Brigitte, we're asked to go invade the GIM and take care of this Netwatch agent. And of course, just like normal, this encounter never seems to go the way I want it to. You just gotta stand far enough back to where the other guy doesn't see anything. And he saw something. Tommy. I'm so dead. Dash, no. Okay, okay. Ooh. I mean, do I just start shooting? Yep, I think we do. I think I should be able to stealth okay, the rest I'm of this here. Dang it. Oh shit, we know I'm here now. Ooh. No, stand up, stand up. Reload, reload, reload. Faster. Yeah, stay right there, stay right there. No, 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 no. Ooh, huge. Okay, we're out of combat. We might be able to sneak our way to Matilda now. Oh, nope. <laughs> Guys, I think I got spotted. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. Oh, hammer ladies here. Hammer ladies here. Can you, can you dash? Dash. Oh, no, 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 no. Placide, I'm trying, okay? <laughs> This is one of those areas that, like, 
to actually truly stealth kill everyone, it, things have to play out so well. Owie. Burn, burn, burn. You know what? We're just gonna go. We're just gonna go hide for a sec. We're gonna get all of our healing items back. Try to get out of combat. Why? 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 Get out of here. I feel like I just gotta clear this place out because I can't seem to stealth at all, which is really annoying. Oh. Okay, I might be able to get to Matilda now and do all this. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Please don't turn. Oh. Oh, we're golden. Oh, we're golden. Whoa. Hey. King was dead. Situation under control. Yeah, we're good, dude. Don't worry about it. With the Netwatch agent finally down, I make sure to grab Sasquatch's hammer on the ground before making my way to meet up with Brigitte and dive into the Johnny Silverhand flashback. Can you fall? Guy was just ragdolling in the middle of the room. Can you guys help? No, <laughs> the last guy, and they killed him right there. That's so annoying. And I have a save right there. Got her, okay. Nice. Yeah, I guess it would be kind of weird, huh? Dang, could you guys do anything? You know, I came up here and did it all myself. I'm gonna get blinded. Oh, okay. Ow. A little awareness for you. Hey, <laughs> He's in the floor. <laughs> Why was he in the floor? With the flashback wrapped up, the next main mission I'm facing is the boss fight with Oda, and of course, eventually we have the Smasher fight. And in order to do these fights, there's one thing that I think will be really helpful from the Phantom Liberty DLC, and that is a relic perk that allows you to lose enemies when you activate an active camouflage. So we decide to run into Dogtown, get through the initial sort of introduction with Songbird. Here's SpongeBob's beautiful line on the rooftop once again. Silbury. <laughs> before walking around and letting the president die. Luckily, Songbird already gave us the relic points we needed, and while walking around, Takemura calls us up, allowing us to finally jump into the fight, going after Oda. Now I did change around the controls a little bit. Instead of dashing when I use star power, now I go invisible. I figured it would help a little more for this mission, because I do want to stay hidden. Hey, can you go to your spot? You're not, you're not where I want you to be. Okay, then. Uh, uh. 
No way. I totally jumped that. Just a few feet more and he's yours. Okay, so this time I think he's not looking this way. Yeah, now he's looking out the window like he should be. This guy's kind of going to be an issue, I think. Ooh. You know what? No, 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 no. Let me go. Let me go. No. Press the button. Stay, stay. Thank you. Yeah, see, he faces through floors, too. <laughs> That's an explosive barrel right next to me. Well, that would be all. Obviously, smart weapons aren't going to work because he he makes them not work. We're gonna we're gonna try hammer. We're gonna try hammer time. Let's do this thing. Been on a while. Time for a break. Fuck! Of course you're here. I won't. Have quit. Distance. What's the distance? Stay away from his blade. He will slice you like fish. You leave me no choice. Dude, oh, I'm actually thinking. I need to figure out a way to counter. That was good damage, though. Come here. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm changing something. We're not going to use invis. I made it so whammying will be counter. <laughs> or star power. Star power is counter. Hopefully. Of course you're here. Come on. Oh, it's so delayed. <laughs> I really need it to be a button. <laughs> we'll keep that invis. We're going to get rid of jump, guys. No. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, this hammer is crazy. <laughs> Come here, Oda. Yeah, he's over here. Okay. No. Thanks. Thanks for coming back to me. <laughs> Where'd you go, Oda? Where'd you go? There you are. Come on. 
Oh, I can't believe I hit you. <laughs> no. Got him again. Got him again. No way I'm about to do this third try. No shot. I. I'm at it too. I'll leave him alone. I'll leave him alone. <laughs> the hammer is so cracked and I love it. Okay, well that went so okay, much better than I thought. Online That's insane. In I don't know how that worked, but it just did. We then watch as Takemura grabs Hanako and then go meet up with him at this abandoned apartment. We have a quick chat with Hanako before Arasaka shows up and decides to take her back. But I honestly really want Takemura because I want to know, will Anders be proud of me yet? Now, I'm going to save you guys some time. I spent forever trying to think of a solution, but the sheer amount of enemies here and how hard they hit, how much life they have, it took me forever to finally find something. And that something was hiding in a corner using the most broken mechanic of Ricochet to slowly kill all three of these enemies, getting Takemura into safety, which allows us to then run out of the building and he follows us out. With that wrapped up and the end of the game unlocked, feeling that there's nothing left for me to do but just go to the end of the game. I make my way to meet up with Hanako, get through all the cutscenes and conversations before finally deciding to call her up and go with the Arasaka ending here. With Takemura and Hellman, we make our way into the Arasaka estate, and now it's time to start cleaning up. Be careful. Nope. He's coming for me. They know you are here. <laughs> Talking more just maniacally laughing. down to single digits. I got down to single digits. I shouldn't open that door. I shouldn't open that door. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Take him from all sides. Oh, did you take out the mech? <gasps> Let's go, Takemura. Oh, you're a Chad. Uh, I think that there's like a, a legendary and or iconic smart weapon right over here. Yeah, let's play around with it. I'm a fan. Uh, let me see if I can get crafting resources real quick. Oh. Ooh. What is the, what? Did the game just glitch on me? It's not doing any damage. <laughs> Could you imagine if this thing actually shot this fast? What did I do to this game? <laughs> it sounds so sick, actually. Can we swap guns, please? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, good. What was that? That was insane. With everyone down and Hanako safe, we make our way to the Arasaka headquarters, where she shows us Chancellor Palpatine before heading to a conference meeting to show them Chancellor Palpatine. And now it's time for the final gauntlet before Adam Smasher. I do feel like the fire damage of the SMG though is crazy good. Ooh, scary, scary melee guy. Scary, no, please, please. Uh, we're gonna switch back to the SMG, I think. SMG felt a little bit more ammo efficient for the damage it does. Can't be nice. Not anymore. We attack full force. Full force, let's go. Very good. Okay, we're just running for the ending because I could not be bothered actually to try and fight these guys. Oh. 
Stop, stop, stop talking. Stop talking. Let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me go. Okay. Okay, so this, you just literally walk over. Crouch right here. Ow. Stop throwing grenades. Oh, did they kill the... <gasps> Wait, they can kill the turrets now? Those turrets used to just wipe them out in like five seconds. Yeah, the grenades that enemies chuck, it's like it's like turning on the skull catch in Halo where they just can't stop throwing grenades and it's obnoxious. Uh, I'm so dead from those. What am I supposed to do? What? Yeah, I held their tension for a little longer that time, I think. So the turrets could do a little more work. Oh yeah, the turrets did a lot more work. You see that? Can you stop? Just, just... Oh my gosh. Guard the thing, care of. Your enough employs some exceptional Kuzutomo. Well, they haven't met me yet. My net runners have dealt with the Heck yeah, they haven't met you, SpongeBob. Uh, quick, before jumping into this fight, I want to give an epilepsy warning. Because I'm point blank with Smasher and he likes to shoot his machine gun a lot, the screen flashes quite a bit. So if you don't like flashing lights or you deal with epilepsy, please just be warned. This game has a lot of that, but this is particularly bad this time. Do I try the hammer? I think I think we try the hammer. The hammer did magic for me on the, uh, the Halo run. So let's try hammer. Oh, wait, one sec. I need to change around my controls to be able to block. Your mate is Ow. Trust me, I know. Get countered. Shooter Goro, yes. Goro, take the shots. It's for the team. Ow. No. <laughs> I hit my mic. Oh, dear gosh. No, I almost got him past 50. Now, because of how absolutely busted this hammer was for the Halo run I did previously, and because of how well it just did against Oda, I felt this might actually be a really good way for me to take him down. While using the hammer, I wanted to test if I could do stealth takedowns with this thing, so after going invisible, losing him with the relic perk, I tried to sneak up behind him, but something was glitched where Adam wasn't moving at all, and the prompt never showed up for me. I'm not really sure why. I spent quite a while trying to use melee weapons, countering him and attacking him, and was seeing some success, but 
as I was getting deeper into it and further along, I started to think about when he started using missiles and how I was going to avoid those missiles. And at this time, because I got rid of Dash, I really had no solution. So I thought about it a bunch and decided to respec my build and going for more of an agility dashing build where I would use my dashing ability to hopefully get out of combat. And with this more agile build, I decided to give it a shot. I need to be able to dash now, I just realized. Let's try this. Your mate is Move. I, as the corporation, will crush you. It will be my pleasure. I will save us the strong. Did okay. The the dash thing is too inconsistent for me. Like this stupid star power thing is so annoying. I need like a more consistent button if I want to dash consistently. Hold up. Man, I just don't have enough buttons. Let's try to get rid of jump then. Jump become dash, and now dash will be... So I can't jump anymore. I can still go invisible. So now he's moving. Because now that he's moving, I feel like I might be able to get a takedown. No! Let me think about this. Let me think about this. Yes, yes! Oh, you're going down, Smasher. Oh, you're so going down. We got this, we got this, we got this. So let's put him at 50. Takemura, I need to get rid of the ads if I'm going to take on Smasher again in stealth. Oh, hi, Smasher. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you lock on, game? Okay, okay, okay. Help, Takemura. Help. Oh no, we have more. Oh no. I think this is doable. It's just really tedious. If I can get one more stealth take on Smasher, then he's in like his final phase. And I think I can just, I can kill him then. I think it'll be pretty chill. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, missiles. Let's try it. Give me the prompt. Give me the prompt game. Smasher. Finally. Done and gone. Oh. How about that, Johnny? <laughs> that was so stressful. Holy. 
We just beat Smasher with a guitar. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> you rock. Do you guys think Anders is proud of me? <laughs> Yo, Detonation. Hey, can we all get a serious thank you to Detonation in chat? He's the one who sent me this guitar. Uh, this obviously wouldn't have been possible without him. I'm really thankful you did this and sent this to me. It honestly was kind of a fun one. Still think it's weird that you're laying in your sister's lap. Especially because you guys are like 80 and 90. Come. Time to look to your problem. Hey, uh, hey, Anders. You proud of me? Fate is a fickle mistress. You proud of me? Say what now? You proud of me? I, uh, I did it. Are you proud? Come on, I, I know you are. It's, it's not that hard. You can just, you can just say it. What are you waiting for? Press the damned button. I, he, he's just being shy, guys. He's just being shy. He's just being shy, you know? He's, he's proud. I, I think he's just, he's putting on a strong face, guys. Uh, you know, he doesn't... You know, he's like that tough love kind of guy. He's like, he is proud, but he doesn't want to show it. Yeah. He, he, I think he's proud. I think he's proud. Well, there it is. Beating Cyberpunk with a Guitar Hero guitar. At a certain point, I honestly was starting to have a little bit of doubts if this was going to be possible. But, of course, I persevered and pulled it off. Although this run was very difficult and mentally taxing, I did have a ton of fun doing it, especially hanging out with you guys. Having you guys all there to witness me beating Smasher with this thing was a ton of fun. I'm super thankful for everyone who watches all the way to the end of my videos. You guys are the true chads, and we'll see if I can come up with any more stupid runs to do in the future. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.